All right, welcome back. Episode two of State of the Multiverse. So some updates on things we've talked about in the past, starting with the Gerber lockdown series. This was a major disappointment, unfortunately. It comes down to the fact that the design aspects of it involving having the thumb studs flush with the frame, a combination of that with the incredibly strong liner lock that they have in the detent makes this tool almost impossible to open one-handed out of the box. It required major modification by me in order to make it usable. Now I am able to open it one-handed on all of the implements. So it is theoretically possible they could have fixed the problem, but not without major modifications. I had to take the whole thing apart. I had to cut a much longer, <coughs> excuse me, Liner lock, I had to cut the hole deeper so that it would actually have a weaker spring retention. I also had to bend the springs back to not push as hard against the implements. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, this is not a tool that I would ever recommend anyone getting in its current form. I don't know what happened with this tool. <sighs> Big shame. Okay, so the Leatherman Bolster. We also got a chance to check this out. It's not that bad, honestly, at $40 with a 25 year warranty, with a sheath, with a pocket clip, it's perfectly fine. I think as a first time tool for somebody who has maybe never introduced to a multi-tool, being as light as it is at six and a half ounces, it's fine. I just wish they put a little bit more effort into letting people know about it. So, Letterman Bolster, okay. It's nothing to write home about at all. Basically, it's half of a Leatherman Rev with half of a Leatherman Sidekick. Exactly those two things. And hybrids, funny enough, I, I'm wondering now that I think about it, whether they will start doing more hybrids like this one. Like, how about a rebar and wave hybrid? How about a bond and curl hybrid? There's just many ways they could do it. I would like to see more of them. I don't know if everyone else would be excited thinking, oh, they're reusing ideas. Well, I've tried it and I think there's advantages to those. So maybe they'll do some more. I don't know. Speaking of wave and rebar, I was able to get these uh, on Facebook Marketplace for 82 total. No joke. And that's going to allow me to start my modification series on the Leatherman Wave. It'll be between six and eight videos where we'll be detailing step by step every single modification you can do to Leatherman Wave, starting from things that don't affect the warranty all the way through to the most complicated possible modifications that you can do. So I'm really looking forward to that series that's coming up soon. Gerber, I'm really, really, really hoping they don't mess up the Gerber uh, Dual Force, because that might be the last Gerber I buy for a while if it ends up being messed up. But I have hope. It looks like the Dual Force will be made in the United States in the same factories that they make the Gerber Center Drive and the MP600, all of which are really good tools. So maybe we'll get lucky on that one. That's what I'm hoping. The Leatherman Crunch is still unavailable. And I have a lot of stuff coming down the pipe that I think you guys will be interested in. It also came to light when I revealed my modifications to the Gerber Lockdown Pry that people are looking for a decent pry tool. And this is not a good pry tool. I have a collection, in fact, of pry tools that are, I would consider to be all significantly better than this one. So let me know in the comments, are pry tools something you guys are interested in? Should I do a video update talking about the pry tools that are available to be purchased and which ones are good and, and you know, and so on? Let me know, let me know. Now, modifications that I've done to this were pretty extreme. And yes, now I can open it one-handed, but most people are not gonna do that. So as is, avoid the lockdown. You're welcome to try it and return it immediately. So if you can find it in a store uh, and you able to open the package there on the spot, which I suggest, check it. See if it has the same problems that I found and let me know in the comments too uh, after you return it because you probably will eat well. Anyway, that's it for today. Not going to take too much of your time. Thanks for stopping in and I'm looking forward to the modification series. It's going to be very enjoyable. You guys have a great day.